Well, maybe you got stuck in a traffic getting out of San Francisco snarled for hours after a morning crash on the Bay Bridge. ABC 7 News reporter Leslie Brinkley tracked down traffic experts today trying to make sense of how things got so bad. And traffic is busy behind you again, Les. Once again, Larry and Ama, as you know, it's like this every day, it seems. SFMTA says yesterday they converted 25 parking control officers into traffic flow officers, and they were able to control the lights at the intersections, keep them from being blocked. But as you saw, it's not enough. It's never enough. It was an agonizing and epic commute. A jackknife truck blocked three eastbound lanes of the Bay Bridge for three hours by rush hour. Drivers on city streets said it was taking two hours to get on the bridge. 60% of the congestion in the Bay Area is due to accidents like this one. What could have been done, what should have been done that could have made that backup not quite as painful? There's really nothing you can do once people are on the road. I mean, it's just a matter of traffic. People are piling up. They have to go through the bridge or they have to go wherever they're going. This professor is a traffic guru, if you will, heading up the Institute of Transportation Studies at Cal. It's not a city problem. It's not a freeway problem. It's not an arterial road problem. It's really a network problem. All these uh, parts of the network are connected. So the point is, you're a motorist. You're going to hit the road. You just have to check traffic before. There is a hope that with traffic information systems, people learn over time that Every time you have to cross a key point of the Bay Area, a bridge or a specific freeway, you just check traffic before. And if the traffic's as bad as it was yesterday, don't hit the road. Don't hit the road. But that's easier said than done, according to SFMTA. The timing of that accident made it especially bad in the afternoon. Why? Well, if it was a collision that occurred during the morning rush hour, people can make a decision on whether or not they should leave their cars at home take BART, take Muni, or some other form of transportation. But in the afternoon, people have already driven in, and so what do you do with your car if it's left overnight? And the traffic could get worse once development on Treasure Island adds up to 24,000 new commuters over the next 17 years. Hope hangs on new technology, technology that could reallocate lanes and control more traffic lights and connect directly with self-driving vehicles. In the future, if you're in a self-driving vehicle, it might connect to that technology automatically, take control of the car, and then your car would stop and go at intervals to improve a master plan for traffic control. But that's a long ways down the road right now. Good luck out there. Reporting live in San Francisco, I'm Leslie Brinkley, ABC 7 News. That's interesting. Thank you, Leslie.